Hi loves, what is up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashika Lee. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be another shower paper routine with some new products. So first things first, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off by lighting my candle. So I got this candle from Walmart and guys, let me tell you, this smells amazing. Like talk about relaxing this is the candle for you they have so many more so definitely check out walmart for those products so i just like to look at myself in the mirror for a little bit absorb my beauty take it all in before we start to unwind i'm just going to take my headband and cover up my hair and wrap my hair up because y'all know we cannot afford to get our weave wet, okay? Because that is a whole nother hassle, a whole nother job that we just don't have time for. So then I just tuck that little bun right into the wrap and my hair is fully covered. Just making sure that everything is nice and good. And now we are just going to turn on our water, let it run for a little bit. And I like my water to be medium hot, if that makes sense. I do not like burning scorching water but just the right temperature. So now that our water has warmed up, we are going to step inside our shower. And the first soap I'll be using is the Method Body. This is their Wind Down Body Wash. And you guys, this smells amazing. Talk about relaxed. So I love this body wash because the smell of it will just get you so calm, so relaxed, and it's so smoothing. So I go in with the soap on a washcloth first, and I just allow the smell to just, you know, get into my pores, open me up, and just get me nice and relaxed. And this is the perfect body wash to use at the start of your shower, because it kind of it just sets the tone for the rest of your shower, and it just allows the rest of your shower to be super relaxing and calming. So now that all of that is rinsed off, we're going in with our second soap. So this is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. This is great for dry skin or itchy skin, and this is in the coconut scent. You guys know I am a sucker for coconut scent, so this is a must. And I'm using my exfoliating washcloth. So on one side, it's very soft, and on the other, it's very rigid and very coarse so it does a great job with exfoliating the skin i definitely recommend an exfoliating washcloth because it does a great job of just getting all the dead skin off of you and all the debris and just allowing your skin to be nice and fresh so i just go in with the soap on that and just lather it up real nicely and then i go in and exfoliate and wash my body so you don't need to use a lot of pressure with this washcloth because like I said, the exfoliating part is already really coarse and rough. So if you press too hard, you might cause um, some irritation with your skin. So just be mindful of that. And this is the time where I go in and pay some attention to my feet because the exfoliating washcloth does a great job as well. So next I'm gonna go in with the coconut butter scrub and you guys, this smells amazing this is one of my favorite soaps and i go back in with the washcloth because um the soap is already an exfoliant so i didn't want to use the exfoliating washcloth because that'll just be a little bit too harsh for my skin my skin is very sensitive so i do like to keep that in mind so yeah, y'all this smells really good and like i said i'm a sucker for scents that are very similar so next i'm gonna go in with the tree hut coco colada sugar scrub and you guys have seen this in the last um shower routine this is my favorite sugar scrub ever you guys this smells amazing like amazing and like i said i like to stay in the same family of smells so coconut was the key to this whole video okay and i have to say i smelled amazing so i like to go in with the exfoliant all over my body and you guys are like girl you exfoliate a lot but listen my skin be dry okay so this just allows my skin to have the potential to be really soft after my shower so i exfoliate a, a, a lot and all the time 
so next i'm going in with the last step which is my feminine wash and this is the vh essentials feminine wash this has tea tree oil probiotics in it and this is just great for um for lady parts just keeping you nice and fresh and i like to just go in with my hands i don't use a rag because you know less bacteria and stuff So after that, I am just rinsing off, spending a little bit more time in the shower as needed, and then we just turn the shower off. And now we are going to head out of the shower. So now we're gonna dry off our skin with that towel, and I'm just patting dry instead of rubbing because it makes the world of difference for me. And we are going to get to moisturizing. So here's a little slow-mo of the products that I'll be using in today's video. These are all the products that I'm using. And like I said, the key scent for today's video is coconut. I love coconut, you guys. So the first lotion I'm going to go in with is the Jergens Hydrating Coconut. Like I said, I need my skin nice and soft. So my routine includes a lot of hydrating products. And this smells really good with along with all the body wash that we used in the shower so your smell is going to be super strong and it's gonna last a long time so I like to use this lotion as the first layer because to me although it is oil infused and moisturizing I need a little bit more moisture okay like when I tell y'all my skin be dry it be dry okay <laughs> So I like to go in with this first and I like to layer my scents as well because they last so much longer that way. So the next lotion I'm going to go in with is the EOS Shea Butter Moisture and this lotion is in the scent Coconut Waters. You guys, this smells amazing, like amazing. When I say these two lotions paired together, oh my gosh, amazing y'all. You would smell so good. For the entire day entire day and this these two lotions together also add extra moisture to my skin that i need and it does a great job with just pairing together like i said the coconut scents are immaculate immaculate okay and last but not least this is the last moisture product that we're going to use this is the star key of the whole show okay this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus body oil y'all this smells amazing so it's actually weird um when i first smelled the oil in the bottle i did not like the scent that much but i went ahead and i tried it anyway and along with all the products the body washes and lotions and everything this layered on top of all of that you guys the scent kind of changes to my body chemistry in a beautiful way and it just smells so good so I really love this product to finish off my skin moisture routine. You guys, my skin is shining. It is glistening, okay? Like, that is what I aim for. That is what I need. This is what success looks like. This is what moisture looks like. This is what a good routine looks like, okay? <laughs> so, next. So now I'm going in with my Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray in the scent Coconut. This is my favorite because it lasts so long and it smells amazing. And then now it is time for skincare. Now it is time to pamper. And I am just going in with this rose sheet mask, y'all. This mask was literally a dollar. Like, yes, a dollar. Um, so I like to go in and use this before going in with any um, products for my face because this is just going to add to our you know our pamper routine so here is the mask it looks so funny <laughs> but i put it on my face and i'm just going to kind of adjust it to fit my face where i needed to and once it's on my face i just use my hands and i just kind of massage some of the mask into my face just to make sure that everything is nicely coated and you know all those juices are flowing through your girl's skin okay all right 
right so once all of that is pressed into my skin and i've kind of massaged the mask a little bit um that's pretty much it i'm just going to allow this mask to sit on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes while i drink my tea i sit back and i relax um and then once i am ready to take it off i will be back so now i'm back now it's time to take this mask off and it just felt so good getting off of my face like all of that extra product on my face um it just made me feel like my skin actually absorbed all of that my skin was glistening y'all so after that i just dabbed some of that product off because it was just a bit too much and then i go in with my moisturizer and i am then going in with my vitamin e oil y'all know i ride and die by this oil y'all vitamin e is so good for your skin and it's so important for your skin health so i definitely recommend adding this to your skin regimen okay so now once that is done i'm just going in and giving myself a little facial so now i'm just going in and trying to give myself a little mini facial a little mini face lift trying to firm and tighten my skin um so i'm using my hands to do this because at the moment i did not have my gusha i think i'm saying that right but um a lot of you may not know this i am a licensed cosmetologist so i went through the whole esthetician um, part of my course and doing this actually adds a lot of um firmness to your skin there are so many different types of massages to do for facials and this is one of them so this is really good for just you know tightening up your skin and just having your face look really good y'all so we have pretty much come to the end of the video thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another video um that is pretty much it for my wind down um i'm about to go to bed drink the rest of my tea and just have a good night because my shower was so good so and don't forget to check the description box down below for all of the products that i use and if you guys have any content ideas on hygiene or anything you would like to see leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to get that to you before we go today's motivational quote is god has everything you need and knows when to get it to you